Well guys, it's not every day that I get a viewer requested review for a movie that hasn't even come out yet. So anyway, let's get started and talk about Welcome Home. Welcome Home was written and directed by Mirandus Berger and stars Mirandus Berger and John Rain and follows the story of a man named Marquise who has spent five years in prison and finally is let out and returns home to his adoptive father and adoptive brother who is dealing with drug abuse. And soon a family tragedy causes him to go down a path of revenge and vengeance. First off, before I start with the review, I do want to thank Miranda Sperger for contacting me and allowing me to see a rough cut of his film before it was released and do a review on it. If you guys don't remember, sometime last year, Miranda's contacted me to do a trailer review for one of his short films, and so I'm just doing this yet again. He's got a new film coming out, and I want to talk about him. It doesn't have the production qualities of a major release, and even has a much smaller budget compared to other independent films, but that doesn't make this film any less great. This is a really good film and a solid outing for Miranda's Burger. I could tell by watching this that this is a film that is very personal and was something that I really felt that Miranda's really wanted to make and that was what really got to me, which was the passion behind not only the camera but the performances and the directing overall. I haven't seen much of Mirandis's filmography, but showing this, it really shows that he has a talent for behind the camera. The cinematography for the most part is really good, as well as the editing, and for a rough cut of the film, that's not too bad. The pacing is really lightning fast. This movie flies by. In fact, it's only a little over an hour, which might seem really short and there's just a lot of stuff that goes on in the film and it has a really quick pace to it and something else about the film is the dialogue is really solid as well as the performances. Miranda Berger gives a excellent performance as the lead character Marquise. He's really good and deals with that struggle of coming back home and his relationship with his adopted father and his adopted brother is really heartwarming. There's some great scenes earlier on in the film between these three characters that really makes you feel that these characters are, you know, family. And the actors feel like family with each other. They have great chemistry, especially with Mirandis and John Rain, who plays the father figure in this film, who gives a really good performance in this film. Like, I was surprised how good John Rain was in this film. He's actually not in the film that much and has about three scenes that really stood out to me and a lot of that is due to not only his performance but the dialogue in which he's saying as well as the music that plays during these sequences that deals with just what he's going through, the loss he's had, and it's just really stellar acting, and I commend him. Miranda's Burger did a great job of casting this guy. It's just really good. And I won't lie, I'm a sucker for revenge thrillers, and this is a revenge thriller in the most basic sense. This film is honestly dirt simple, but what makes it is the fact that there's so much heavy weight put to this film, such as we're dealing with drug abuse, which plays heavily into the film, especially when it comes to Marquis' brother. But overall, for a low-budget film, this film is really solid. As I will say that sometimes, maybe the pacing is a bit too fast, and the movie just really blows by at points, especially once we get to the end. There's a lot of setup for this film, and then the latter half is really just rushing to get to the end. But it really wasn't that big of a problem with me because I was still incredibly entertained throughout. Now sometimes when it comes to the acting, it can be a little bit stiff with some actors. However, I do understand that some of these might not be exactly, you know, trained actors. But what does work is just 
Mirandis is directing of them, the way the scenes are written, as well as the editing that really helps the film out a whole lot. Guys, I actually did really enjoy this film, and I thought it was just a lot of fun to watch, and it's just great watching independent films from just really young and up-and-coming directors. Mirandas is kind of an idol of mine, almost, because I want to get into film, and I just haven't had that first step, and in fact, he's really had that first step. He's making a ton of short films, he's making movies, and he's living the dream, and I respect him for that. I'm gonna give Welcome Home a 7 out of 10. But anyway guys, I want to thank you for watching this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you check out Mirandas' film once it's finally released. I don't know whether it's going to be on YouTube or somewhere else, I'm not exactly sure. But really, check it out, and also check out his other stuff on his YouTube channel at um, Mirandas Doradus Films on YouTube, as well as maybe look him up on his Instagram as well. But anyway guys, thank you for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, comment, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next review.